Hello everyone, my name is Jude, Jude Kelly, and I'm the founder of WOW, Women of the World, which celebrates the stories, the achievements and the potential of girls and women right across the world. And boy, is that potential amazing. To think that we've had a history of inequality and then to think of the history of what's been achieved, it's really extraordinary. And it makes you realise what power, what internal stamina, what resource and what optimism girls and women have operated on for thousands of years. But wouldn't it be amazing if today was one of those days, like a moment when science meets and says, do you know what, we're going to eradicate these diseases. And of course, you know, they, they don't know how quite, they don't know when yet, but they know that they are absolutely determined. And that determination, which is being talked about today, that does take courage. It takes courage because it can be ridiculous when you say to somebody, we're gonna do something that nobody's ever achieved and actually, frankly, half the world doesn't even believe can be and some of the world doesn't want it to be happening at all. But that's the courage that we need. And the WOW festivals, which are all across the world, really bring together people who want to celebrate not just surviving, but actually making extraordinary things happen. Because when you see those extraordinary things, when you see the release of potential in girls and women, then you think, wow, why would we have a world that denies that? It's ridiculous. HRH, the Duchess of Cornwall, is our president, and she's shown courage because she's said, I have one of the most powerful voices in town, and I'm gonna use it for people who are made voiceless, for people who are silent, for people who are made afraid to speak, and we have had societies that said, look, this is all a bit uncomfortable. Do we have to talk about this? But yes, here we are. We are talking about it. And with the WOW festivals everywhere, when I visit across the world, that I can see that women who come from bitter backgrounds turn that bitterness into joy. Because the joy of humanity, imagine a world where men and women were just assuming their equality and loving each other for it. That's a world that can be achieved, probably not in my lifetime, but maybe not, because you know, with aging processes and science being what it is, I might live a very long time. But I certainly, while I live, I am determined that we will eradicate what is another kind of epidemic, another kind of something that digs into humanity and takes hold and destroys. But here's our opportunity. We're gathered and we're saying no, no more.